favorite doctor, Dr. Malika Marshall, is here now to answer some of your coronavirus questions. Let's get right into it. Sean asks, I usually do a home test before seeing my 75-year-old parents, but should I even bother? I know that at-home tests can have trouble detecting symptomatic cases of COVID, so can we trust them at all to detect asymptomatic cases? It's a really good question. You know, it takes some time for the virus to actually replicate and build up enough in the nose and quantities large enough for a rapid at-home test to detect it. But even if you have asymptomatic COVID, a rapid test should eventually turn positive. It just may take a number of days just like for people who are actually mm -hmm. having symptoms. And even if you have COVID, if you test negative on a rapid home antigen test, your viral load it probably is small enough that you're not likely to be highly contagious. So if you test negative on the day that you're going to go see okay. your elderly parents, it's unlikely you'll pass the virus on to them. However, if there's someone who's really high risk, case counts, as we know, continue to climb, so you might want to wear a mask or go get a more accurate PCR test before visiting them. All right, Rich writes, many have said that once I've contracted COVID, I cannot get it again. I do not believe this, but who is correct, me or those in the many have said camp? <laughs> and doctor, I, I, I'm not a doctor, I don't play one on TV, but I feel like I could answer this question. I, I bet you could. Um, yeah, everybody's saying, is that what they say? Well, everybody's saying. well you're right, okay, <laughs> they're wrong. You're unlikely to contract COVID again with within a few months of infection, but after that, your immunity will likely fall and you could be vulnerable to getting it again, especially with another variant. So we're actually seeing in clinic people who have COVID now who've had it once or even twice before. Yep. So you're not completely immune. So the headline there is you can get it again. Can. It can happen. Dr. Malika Marshall, thank you so much.